Well, if you're watching this when it first airs on Saturday and Sunday, we're busy at Positive Christianity getting ready for our next spiritual retreat cruise, leaving from New Orleans. People are coming from all over the country, many from the snow belt, and they are very anxious for a Caribbean cruise. They're also anxious for great spiritual programs, and wow, do we have those. We hope that you can go with us next time. Next October, we are going to New England and Canada to see the leaves at the height of the colors. It is an eight-night cruise. It begins at $493, just $97 for the spiritual programs. I pray that you'll join us. We will be sold out on that fairly quickly because it's uh, the most popular cruise in the world. A few years ago, I wrote about five steps to positive change, and I want to share these with you today, this weekend. The first step is to pray to God and ask for direction. Anytime that you want to make change in your life, always ask for direction and ask God also to give you the strength and the courage to succeed. Many times we can ask for directions, we can ask for guidance, but we don't have the strength in ourselves. Maybe we feel knocked down by the change. Maybe we don't have the courage to walk forward in the new way. Well, God will give you that courage. God will give you that strength. Second, take the change one day at a time. In retrospect, you will see that God was in the plan all along. And there was a necessary process that was unfolding all the time. You're changing your thinking, and when you change your thinking, you must take one step at a time. Or even what I've had to do many times, one hour at a time. Third, associate with people of like mind. Don't associate with the naysayers during this time. Don't associate with people that say, oh, you could never do that. Associate with people that tell you you can, and with God you will. Associate with people who are moving toward, as the Bible says, the promised land, who have an upbeat attitude in their lives. They can lift you up. It's pretty difficult if you're trying to climb a mountain and you have to drag someone along who is going very reluctantly, screaming and complaining. Let go and let God and then go on. The mere fact that you are moving ahead in your life, it's a great asset to them as they see you change and unfold. It could, and it often does, inspire them to do the same. Now, fourth, be patient with yourself. Never say, I don't know if I'll succeed, or I don't know if I will ever be free. Be patient. Allow the change to happen. Don't expect what we often do in human mind, instant gratification. And if it doesn't come instantly, then we want to throw up our hands and say, that's it. I give up. Well, you're not giving up. You're not giving in. You're letting go and letting God come through you. God will lead you or pull you or carry you to success. Fifth, give thanks. Always give thanks before the answer to prayer. Give thanks every single day of your life. Gratitude will keep you on the positive. It is one of the most powerful spiritual, 
human techniques that we can use on ourselves. It focuses our mind in the right way. God bless you. I pray that you have a marvelous weekend.